Hey everyone, welcome back to Alpha and Chill, or if you're new here, welcome. I'm Cam, and today we're going to talk about Ordinal Wallets. In last week's video, we covered Ordinals, which are Bitcoin NFTs, artifacts, inscriptions, whatever you want to call them. But in order to send and receive them and store them, you need to use a wallet. So we're going to talk about three, and these are going to be the three easiest you can get involved with. Uh, they're not super in-depth. You don't have to download a full Bitcoin node or anything like that. So they're going to be OrdSwap, Ordinals Wallet, and Xverse. So what I personally use right now for kind of holding long-term is Xverse. Uh, I use Ord Swap and Ordinals Wallet to move in and out, or if I'm going to purchase one or sell one, uh, I'll send it to either Ord Swap or Ordinals Wallet, put it in the marketplace. Uh, if I buy one, I'll just move it in and out. But we're going to look at those three specifically today, and we're going to go over uh, how to set them up, how to send Bitcoin, and how to send Ordinals with them. So let's get into it. Starting off, we have OrdSwap.io, and please. .io is the only official website. There's been a lot of scams going around for ordswap.com. Uh, again, it's only ordswap.io. But you'll come to here. This is what the homepage looks like. This is also a marketplace, and we'll kind of cover that later on. But uh, you'll go over here to wallet. What's nice about this, if you have you have three different options right now, uh, or kind of four. So you can connect with MetaMask. Uh, you can use an OrdSwap key if you already have one. If you don't have one, you can create one, or you can use this X Pub, which is in beta. So what I've typically been doing is just been using uh, MetaMask. You just connect with it. You can also use it on your browser. Uh, I'm sorry, your mobile. Connect, and then there you go. So I have a little frog here, and this goes off the main address if I'm correct. So whatever this main address is, I don't think it matters what network you're on. You just connect whenever the account is, this is what it goes off of. This is my Bitcoin address. Uh, I can send Bitcoin to this and I also can send any number of inscriptions one by one to this address. Uh, if you don't want to connect with MetaMask, you can create a new key or import one. So you just go create a new wallet. It gives you this key, you can copy it, uh, highlight, whatever you want to do. You saved it, you go back, once you paste it, import it, here's your wallet, here's your address, you send your Bitcoin and ordinals to. OrdSwap is pretty straightforward, like I said, as far as wallets goes, uh, whenever they're all loaded up here, we'll connect with MetaMask on this one. This is where your inscriptions are at. You can send them. You just put in the tapered address you want to send to, which starts with BC1, and then you send it. So next we'll go to Ordinals Wallet. This is a native app built in within the browser. You can also pull this up on your mobile device and it works just as good. Uh, you get to create wallet or you can restore wallet but you just go to create uh, just do a password whatever you want to do generate a seed phrase uh, i don't care about this because i'm not going to keep this but this will be yours you copy it when you hit next it's going to ask you to confirm it so you have to put these third you hit next all right there we go so that's all it takes to create a wallet on ordinals you're going to go to send and receive so when you get to receive again your taproot address starts with bc1 very long and you can do Bitcoin or any number of inscriptions to the same address. That's key because it's different from Xverse and we'll get to that in a second. So because this is a first wallet, I don't have any inscriptions in here, but they'll show up here on your wallet history. What I do like about this is this shows you the history of everything as far as Bitcoin goes uh, in and out and your ordinals in and out. Whereas on OrdSwap, it's not there. Like, I don't know where to find it if it is. If you do know how to, leave a comment, but I can't figure it out. But under here, under Ordinal's wallet, it does have that. Uh, if you wanted to send your inscription, once you have it in here, it'll look similar to this. You can send it or sell it because also you can also sell on Ordinal's wallet. If you do that, you send it, and you're good to go. All right, so wallet three is Xverse. And this one's different because you have two different types of addresses. So you have a Bitcoin address, which starts with a three, and then you have your ordinals address that starts with BC1. You don't wanna send your ordinals to the address that starts with three. Uh, you'll lose them, you'll never get them. This is cool because it's a browser extension and it's also a mobile app. I use mine on mobile. So now we'll show you how to set the Xverse up. This is for stacks and also Bitcoin. So we're gonna, if you have a C phrase already, you just restore it. But if not, we're gonna create a wallet. 
So your Bitcoin stacks assets and NFTs in one place. You can stack your STX to earn Bitcoin, access dApps, accept the legal. Uh, we'll do backup now. So this shows you the seed phrase. Again, I don't care about this because I'm not keeping it. I continue. So it asks you to enter it again. All right, so we're gonna make a new password and it's created. So now we go to our extension. We're just gonna log into it. So again, this is your Bitcoin address. This is where you receive Bitcoin. And then under here, under collections, and when you go to receive, this is your ordinals address. I believe it's taproot, it starts with BC1. So again, you can't send Bitcoin to this address, uh, just like you can't send ordinals to your receive Bitcoin address. This three here, you can't send Bitcoin to that. I'm sorry, you can't send ordinals to that. Something to keep in mind with the ordinals. Is, so this is where you go to view your collections. You have to go to settings and then you're under experimental. You want to activate ordinal NFTs just to make sure that you can receive those and all that. I know the address is there, but this just ensures it. So let's talk sending and receiving. So an ord swap, here's my little Bitcoin frog. Uh, I've got a little bit of Bitcoin up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send it to Ordinal's wallet. So I'm gonna to go to receive. Here is my address. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna to go to send. I'm gonna paste this in here like that and hit send. That was successful. Keep in mind, Bitcoin is very, very slow. So there's no really telling. Uh, probably within the next 10, 20, 30 minutes or so, this will show up. So we'll come back to it. I'm gonna send some Bitcoin to X first. So I wanted it here to X first, copy the receive Bitcoin. So here's a little bit here. I'm just gonna do 0.002, hit send, and that was successful. So we'll also wait for that to show up. So you see it's it's received here, but I wanna show you something with X first. So you're to send, send Bitcoin. Boom, there you go, all right. So wait to see if that hits. On Ordinal's wallet, somebody had also asked if you were able to send an Ordinal without having anything Bitcoin in the balance. So this is the inscription balance. It has sats within it. So we're gonna see if we can send something right now. So this is gonna be sending from my Ordinal's wallet to the Ord swap. We're sure we're gonna send. Yes, we do, and it's been successful. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of Ord Swap and Ordinal's Wallet. On the right-hand side is Ordinal's Wallet. It does look cleaner than Ord Swap does. Ord Swap's very, very basic, uh, whereas with Ordinal's Wallet, uh, you know, it's it's pretty clean. Everything's laid out nicely. They do have your inscriptions when they show up. They'll be here. Uh, your wallet history, which I like, you can see that was received. You're pending. This is the uh, Ordinal's, and any kind of Bitcoin you send in, it'll all be in here. Uh, this does not exist in OrdSwap. You cannot see any history. I don't know if they're gonna add that or not, but as of right now, you can't see that. So again, keep in mind that both of these wallets use this taproot address that starts with BC1. Uh, you can send Bitcoin in any amount of ordinals to either of these wallets. Uh, you can send to and from to each other. For the sake of functionality, I like ordinals wallet better because again, it looks better. It looks cleaner. Uh, the wallet history is a big plus for me. I know this has been confirmed. Inscriptions is nice. Something else too. So hope you're here on OrdSwap. You see my inscription is now in here. I click on it and it gives you no information other than the inscription number and that's it. So I'm going to send this to Ordinal's wallet and show you how it's kind of nicer on this aspect too. So we're back in Ordinal's wallet and the difference is when you click on your inscription, it gives you all of the information. So it's got your ID, who owns it, the content link, which is just the image and everything like that. Now, if you want to look up what sat it's under, you can copy the ID. Once this is loaded, you'll see your inscription information. Here's your sat You can click this hyperlink and it will pull up and you'll see that the timestamp was October 18th, 2017. Cool way to check it out. Now I'm going to transfer this frog over to X first so you can kind of see what this looks like over here so you can receive your ordinal address you can only receive ordinals you cannot send bitcoin to this address with your within xverse and i understand you copied it transfer paste it hit send confirm and it's good to go so over here this is what it looks like on xverse your collectibles it'll show up in here uh, you can click on it, open gallery. Now on mobile, this looks different. So whenever you click it on mobile, it has all this information. 
And at the very bottom, it has a hyperlink for ordinals.com. And when you click on that, it takes you to this page here. So that's kind of nice about Xverse. It's the only of the all three wallets that has that direct link to this inscription itself. So it's not a big deal, but you know, you may want to check this out just cause you know, here's the SAT information again. So on mobile, this does look a little different. This looks all the same, except for it does have that hyperlink at ordinals.com on the bottom, but that's what it looks like inside of that. So it's pretty cool. So I definitely hope that clears some things up. Of the three wallets, I personally use Xverse and Ordinals Wallet the most. I use OrdSwap for trading and that's about it. I do feel that OrdSwap is a little more secure with having to go through MetaMask if you set it up that way versus Ordinals Wallet. But I do like that Ordinals Wallet looks better and has a lot more functionalities than OrdSwap does. I use Xverse for long-term holding for the most part right now. Uh, I did see that ledger you're able to support ordinals so I'm going to check that out and if I can do multiple ordinals we'll, we'll I'll do a video on that too. So I really don't think you can go you know one way or the other when it comes to the wallet just the choice uh, a lot of people use ordinals wallet there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with it. I would probably say that with ordinals wallet it's probably the easiest one to use because you can send bitcoin and multiple ordinals to the same address. You know whereas with Xverse you have a separate address for bitcoin and a separate address to ordinals. So it's not a, it's a little more inconvenience, but it's also not a big deal when you really think about it. So I hope this gives some clarity to ordinal wallets and which ones to choose of the three options. Again, I don't think there's really a, a wrong choice. I do think a, or ordinal's wallet would be probably top one for me, then X first and then Ort swap, but they all function well and they do what they're supposed to do. If you guys found this helpful, please like and subscribe, turn those notifications on so you don't miss any type of videos. Thank you.